So let's look at how to sew a button on by machine. Now you are going to need your button foot. It's the little foot that has the blue tip on it. You're also going to need your feed dog cover that looks like this. First let's put the correct foot on. Now this is the foot that's on there to take it off. Reach behind here and press that little lever and it just falls right off. Okay now let's put the button foot on. You see it's got the bar. The bar part goes on the top. The blue end goes to the front of the machine. You're going to slip it under there so that the bar lines up with the groove that's in this foot holder. And then lower it. If it doesn't click, just lift up a little bit and you may have to position it a little bit. See, I pushed it up just a little and it clicked right into place. Now we're going to put our feed dog cover on. These metal things right here with the teeth, that's what feeds your fabric through. Well, when you're sewing on a button, you don't want your fabric going through there. So hold your cover so that it looks like a frowny face. The frowny face right here needs to match up with the little frowny face in your uh, foot plate there. All right, you see on the back of it, it's got those two prongs. Those are going to go into these two holes right here. So, or these two holes right here. So you're going to slip it in there and it'll just fit right into place. And once you get this plate on here, what I like to do is go ahead and pull up my bobbin thread. Because when I put this on, it kind of sandwiched the bobbin thread down under there. So hold your needle thread out to your left a little bit. Rotate your hand wheel by hand. And keep turning and you will see there came my bobbin thread. My bobbin thread is the white one. Pulled up the loop so I can pull that out and then tuck both of them right under the foot and pull them off to the back. Now for the settings. We're going to use stitch number three which is a zigzag that goes side to side. So turn your knob here until you see the three. Alright, this is your stitch length and you want it on the F for button. Okay? You don't want it moving. This is your stitch width. This determines how far it's going to go from side to side. Well, we don't know that yet. We're going to have to determine that when we get a button on. Okay, we have all that set. So here's our fabric. I want the button right there where that dot is. So I'm going to put that right there in the middle. And then I'm going to slide my button right in there on top. And sometimes I have to use a toothpick to tweak it a little bit to get it as close to the back of that foot without being too far. All right. Now once you get it in there just right, you're going to let that foot down and you see how the holes are just right in the center there. Okay. Now we're going to carefully test the needle to see if it will clear the holes like it's supposed to. So I'm going to turn the hand wheel toward me and I can see that the needle is hitting in the center. All right. So I go up to that stitch width dial and I'm going to increase that width. And you can probably see the needle going to the left. Now it's going to clear that hole and I'm going to keep on going around because I need to check the other side. And it does. So you may have to keep, you know, going back and forth with that needle like that using your stitch width dial until it clears both holes. Okay. Then you will give it a little bit of gas just four or five turns and get your needle back up to height position and that's what it's going to look like when you sew your button on. Congratulations. Now if you have a four hole button, you just do this to the front two holes and then you push it back a little bit more and it'll do it again. Okay.